Hey guys, Everything Fondant here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this animal cell cake. This was actually a project my daughter had to do for school, and this is the diagram she brought home that we modeled the cake after. Our cake wasn't quite as detailed as this, but she just really needed a basic model. So I started off by covering an eight inch round cake in a very light tan fondant color. And these are the other fondant colors that you'll need for this cake. Before I get started on any of the decorations, I just go ahead and take some edible glitter and brush it all the way across the surface of this cake. The reason I do this is because the base of this cake is going to represent the cytoplasm in the animal cell and that is supposed to look very liquidy. So after I brush it with glitter, I go ahead and add a little bit of water to it and brush it all the way across the surface. And that gives it a very good shine, like it's liquid. So now I'm gonna work on each different part of the cell. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make the nucleus. And I used purple fondant for that. And I left it a little bit streaky just so it can look a little cool. Um, but basically you just roll it into a ball and that's about it. So the next part I'm going to work on is called the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. And all I did was roll out some really light brown fondant and I just cut two um, pretty thin but long strips. So once I have my strips cut, I just take one strip at a time and turn it up on its side. And then I go ahead and start creating kind of like a squiggly pattern with it where I'm folding it in and out as you can see. Um, you just want to continue doing that until you get all the way to the end of the strip and then do the same thing with the second strip. And this will be the basic shape that you end up with. So the next part of the cell that I'm going to work on is the mitochondria. And I decided to use red fondant for that. And basically I just take some and kind of roll it into the shape of a big jelly bean. Once I have the shape that I want, um, I just take a little knife and imprint a little zigzag pattern right on the top. And I made another one just like it. The next part that I made are the vacuoles, which I chose to do in a very light blue. And basically I just do the exact same shape as the mitochondria, but just slightly smaller. And I didn't put any indentions on top. The next part is the lysosome, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, basically, it, you just roll it into a, an uneven ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I just did a few of those in a light purple fondant. So next we have our Golgi bodies. Um, this one is a little easier to do because it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I used a darker blue fondant and basically you just wanna roll it out into a more of a stringy shape and just kind of clump it all together really. It's uh, pretty easy. And this is what you end up with. So the next part that we're going to do are the ribosomes and these are basically tiny little black um, dots basically. So that's pretty simple. You want to roll out about 20 of these. And last but not least, the final part that we're going to cut out will be the cell membrane. And basically it's just that light brown color again. And we're gonna roll it out and cut a very long, thin strip. And that will go around the outside of the top of the cake. So now for the fun part, assembling all the decorations. Um, the first thing I put on obviously is the nucleus. And I kind of put that a little bit farther in the back, right in the center. The next thing I'm going to put on is the endoplasmic reticulum and I basically just um, put it right underneath the nucleus, kind of in an arched shape. The next thing that will go on is the cell membrane and like I said that basically goes around the edge of the top of the cake and you just want to kind of line it up and try to get it on the very uh, top edge of the cake without going to the sides and this is what it should look like the next thing that I'm gonna put on is the Golgi bodies 
and basically put that on the bottom right and um, I brushed it with a lot of water because apparently this is supposed to look really gooey like a big blob and so brushing a lot of water on it makes it look pretty gooey. The next part that we will place on the cake are the mitochondria and basically just you know kind of space them out and put them in random locations. Next we have our vacuoles and again we're just going to kind of space them out evenly um, around the cake just kind of in random locations. Next we have our lysosomes and we're going to also space those out evenly and put them in more random locations. The final part that we're going to be putting on the cake are all the little ribosomes that we made. Um, and basically those go all over the cake and so just put them randomly everywhere. Just like this. And this is what it will look like with all of the parts on the cake. The final touch that I do for the design of the cake is I take a little embossing tool and just do evenly spaced stripes all the way around the base of the cake. It kind of makes it look more interesting. So this is the finished product. Now I'm going to show you how we made the labels for each part of the cell and basically you just need a pencil, um, a few toothpicks, and pieces of paper that are cut into the shape of a square, um, and some tape. Basically you want to take the, the piece of paper and fold it in half and then um, you want to write on the front and back um, the part of the cell and then on the very back you want to do what the part does. After you have it written, um, you basically just want to take it and open it up and take the toothpick and a little piece of tape and tape the toothpick to the inside of the paper. After that, you want to take some packing tape, which is very, very clear, and you want to cover the front of the piece of paper, um, probably right in the middle of the tape as you can see, and then fold the top of the tape over. And then you want to take some scissors and cut little slits right around the toothpick, and then fold the bottom of the tape under and so that it's covering the back of the paper. And after you've done that, you want to take your scissors and just cut the excess tape off of both sides and you have an awesome little label. And you basically just want to put the labels in or beside each part that it goes to. And you have a finished animal cell model made out of fondant and cake. Well, thanks for watching my video and I hope you have an awesome day. God bless.